Hi, my name is Nikki and I run Bricks for Kids in Essex in the United Kingdom. We are based in the southeast of England, very near to our capital city, London. Our building video today has a birthday theme. And in relation to that, I have a fun fact about the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen's 93 years old and has two birthdays each year. The 21st of April 1926 is the date of her actual birthday and her official birthday is in June. This is because April in the UK is usually a bit too cold for a parade, so we celebrate with her in June instead. Now, if you or a family member of your household has a birthday while we all have to stay at home, I thought I'd suggest that you could have two birthdays this year too. You could have a small celebration on your actual birthday at home building Lego and set another birthday later in the year like the Queen. You could even have a Bricks for Kids party. So today I thought I'd show you how to build a birthday cake out of random pieces of Lego you may have in a box at home. So let's build. Okay, to start our cake, I've found a nice piece here, which we can use as our base. Now you could use a square base plate, you could use a very big base plate like this, or a much smaller one if you wanted to. Any, any sort of base plate with a, a reasonable size is good to use. We're also going to be using some two by four bricks here and some long one by six pieces. You can use any color you like. I'm using white and I've got some red pieces and a few other blue and yellow pieces just to make it a little bit more colorful, but you can choose whatever colors you like, depending on what you have in your box. Okay, so we're going to start here and we're going to put our two by fours on the edge of the plate here. So we've got four pieces. So we've got a nice base there. And then I've got this special piece here, which is a corner piece, which is gonna go into this corner. Now, this is quite a special piece. You may not have this, so you can actually make it yourself by using a two by one piece and a one by one piece. So we're going to put one there and one there. And then we'll do the same here and here. And then we've got another piece, two by one and another one by one. Okay, and then I thought we'd do another layer. So we're going to do the same again with white. Come up this way, two, three, and four. Okay, and then we've got some more two by ones. So we're going to place those exactly where we had the pieces before on the bottom layer. And we're going to put those in the corners. So we've got a nice base section. Oh, we've got one more corner to sort out, so we'll put that in there and that in there. Right, okay, then I thought maybe we'd change the colour a bit. So we're going to go for red. So we've got our red two by fours and they go in the same place over the white bricks. So we've got those and then again I've got one piece which is a corner piece here so that can go there but I haven't got any more so I'm going to just fix the rest in place with the two by ones and the one by ones. There we go. Oh, put that one on properly. Right, okay. Now what I thought we could do next is to actually go in a bit so we've got more of a... Um, pyramid shape. So we shall put those across here, see what happens. So you can be creative with this. You can make it however you like, depending on what bricks you've got. And this can be a cake topper, or it could be just a, cake, a freestanding cake. You could make lots of sections and build them up into tiers with towers in between. So you could use pieces like this here, to make the towers underneath and then fix it to an underneath bit. Okay, so now we're going to find our next pieces, another piece there, because we need to bridge this gap here so then we can start going in a bit. So we're going to go in here. There we go, and we've got four pieces on top like that. So you can, as you can see, it's coming in slightly here. 
So now we can put our two last two by fours on top. If it's going to fit properly. Ooh. There we go. And then our last two by two piece on top. So you can see here, little dome effect on top. And I found a nice round piece here with a flat round piece. So we've got a little flat piece and a dome on top. So that's gonna go on top like that. Now we could use something like this, or we could um, put these little one by ones on top of each other. Uh, but I found these little see-through glass pieces look quite nice, a little flame on top. So I thought I'd put that on there. And then we could decorate around the side. So I've got some nice little one by one pieces here. So I thought we could put those on the on the edges there. Maybe make them a look, make it look pretty with a bit of icing on top. There we go. You can choose any colour you like or any little pieces. You might have some flowers. You might have some little glass pieces that you could put on there. So that's our finished finished item. So there's our cake. Now also, I have got one here, which is I made, which you could make into a mine. Oops, I've dropped my cake into a Minecraft cake. I'm just going to move this one out of the way. I'm going to put that frame back on top of there. And we've got a Minecraft cake. So you can just make a base of different coloured bricks inside and then make your Minecraft face on top. And you've got a Minecraft cake and then you could decorate with these little flames here and just put them randomly on there. Or you can put some other decorations on. So that would be a quite a nice Minecraft cake to do. So you could do that. One last thing that you could do, which I've made earlier, is make a little present. Now these are really cool. So these are, you can see there's a nice little bow on top, just blocks of coloured bricks with a ribbon inside. I'm just going to move this out so you can see it in a bit more detail. And you can see the ribbon running through the middle on each side there. And then we've made a little ribbon. So I've put that like that so you can see how you could make that. You could actually make it hollow inside, make a little box and actually put some sweets or candy inside. So that would be another thing to do. This is the finished birthday cake topper. This is the finished Minecraft birthday cake. And this is the finished birthday present. Okay, so these are all the things that you can make for your birthday party. So I just want to say, have a great day. If it is your birthday while we're staying at home, I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy building and stay safe.